In this video, we are going to be looking at a couple of examples of questions which involve forming new cubic polynomial equations by substitution. So let's get into it. Here we've got an example. It goes, the equation x cubed plus x minus 1 equal to 0 has roots alpha, beta, gamma. Show that the equation with roots alpha cubed, beta cubed, gamma cubed is y cubed minus 3y squared plus 4y minus 1 equal to 0. Hence, find the value of alpha to the power 6 plus beta to the power 6 plus gamma to the power of 6. So here we're going to use substitution to form the new equation. And since we have alpha, beta, and gamma being the roots and thus x values for the original equation, we can thus say let y be equal to x cubed, where x cubed now takes the form of the new roots. We can therefore make x subject so that x comes out as y to the power of a third. Now we can do substitution where we substitute y to the power of a third into the original equation. So we now have in place of x cubed, that will be y to the power of a third cubed. And that's plus x, which is plus y to the power of a third minus 1 equal to 0. And we can simplify by multiplying the powers here. We remain with y. So it's y plus y to the power of a third minus 1 equal to 0. Now, to do away with the fractional power here, we can say y to the power of a third is equal to 1 minus y. And from here, I can cube both sides. So, doing so means that I will now be having left on the left side y. And expanding 1 minus y cubed, I get 1 minus 3y minus, sorry, plus 3y squared minus y cubed. So we now have it like this. Now I want to take everything to one side and that is to the left side. So eventually we'll form an equation y cubed minus 3y squared and negative 3y comes to the left and s to y so that forms 4y and that's minus 1 equal to 0. So that's the equation with roots alpha cubed, beta cubed, and gamma cubed. So hence, shown. Let's go on to the part. Hence, find the value of alpha to the power 6 plus beta to the power 6 plus gamma to the power 6. Now, we're going to make use of the sum of roots for this new cubic polynomial. So let's have that first. So sum of roots of the form alpha cubed is minus b over a which is, in this case, 3. And sum of product of pairs, in this case, that's c over a, so that's 4. And the product of roots is minus d over a, and that's 1. So we will or might need this information uh, a bit later. So now, for us to work out alpha to the power 6 plus beta to the power 6 plus gamma to the power 6, we can say that is the same as alpha cubed squared plus beta cubed squared plus gamma cubed squared. And by considering this algebraic relationship, we can say that this is the same as sum of roots squared minus 2 of sum of product of pairs. Sum of roots here is um, 3, so that's 3 squared minus 2 of sum of product of pairs for the equation in terms of y, so that's 4. So 3 squared is 9, and 9 minus 2 times 8, which is 8, 9 minus 8, gives us 1. So that's how we answer this type of question. Let's scroll down to the next question. So the question goes, the cubic equation 7x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 1 equal to 0 has roots alpha, beta, gamma. On A, find a cubic equation whose roots are alpha to the power minus 1, beta to the power minus 1, and gamma to the power of minus 1. 
Right, so for this one here, I'm going to say let y be equal to x to the power of minus 1. That's taking the form of the roots of the new equation. So this is the sum as 1 over x. And we can make x subject, so x therefore is 1 over y. So substituting 1 over y for x in the original equation will be having 7 of 1 over y cubed plus 3 of 1 over y squared plus 5 of 1 over y plus 1 equal to 0. That's 7 over y cubed plus 3 over y squared plus 5 over y plus 1 equal to 0. So here I can multiply all the terms by y cubed. So here I will get 7 and next I will get 3y and I will get here 5y squared plus y cubed equal to 0. So rearranging that's y cubed plus 5y squared plus 3y plus 7 equal to 0. So this is the answer to part A. Let's go on to part B. On part B, they say find the value of alpha to the power minus 2 plus beta to the power minus 2 plus gamma to the power of minus 2. Alright, so here, first of all, we are going to need the sum of roots for the uh, new equation. So that's sum of roots of this form and that's minus b over a which is minus 5. Then the sum of product of pairs, we can write it this way. For the new equation in terms of y, that's uh, uh, c over a, so that's 3. And the product of roots for the new equation is minus c over a, which is minus 7. So we are going to need um, this information um, in our working. So part B demands that we find alpha to the power minus 2 plus beta to the power minus 2 plus gamma to the power minus 2. This is the same as alpha to the power minus 1 squared plus beta to the power minus 1 squared plus gamma to the power minus 1 squared. Okay, and um, using this algebraic relationship, it has to be the same as the sum of roots of the form alpha power minus 1 and that's squared minus 2 of the sum of product of pairs for the new equation. Okay, and we got the sum of roots for the new equation as minus 5. So that's squared minus 2 of the sum of product of pairs is uh, 3. So that's 25 minus 6 and this gives us 19 so 19 is the answer right here let's go on to part c so on part c they say find the value of alpha to the power minus 3 plus beta to the power minus 3 plus gamma to the power of minus 3 all right so that's part c so we're looking for alpha to the power minus 3 plus beta to power minus 3 plus gamma to power minus 3. Right, so we're going to make use of the new equation which we got. So I'll just write it down. That's y cubed plus 5y squared plus 3y plus 7 equal to 0. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make y cubed subject. So that's going to be minus 5y squared minus 3y minus 7. Okay, so I've just met y cubed subject. And since, okay, let me write that down. Since alpha to the minus 1 is a root to this equation. So therefore I can say, um, substituting I get alpha to the power minus 3 is equal to minus 5 of alpha to the power minus 2 minus 3 of alpha to the power minus 1 minus 7 and also beta to the power minus 1 
is a root. So since it's a root, I can substitute that. So that's beta power minus 3 is equal to minus 5 of beta power minus 2 minus 3 of beta power minus 1 minus 7. Gamma to the power minus 1 is again a root. So I can say gamma to the power minus 3 is equal to minus 5 gamma to the power minus 2 minus 3 of gamma to the power minus 1 minus 7. So I now have these three equations, equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. So I can now add the three equations up. So that's 1 plus 2 plus 3. And what that gives me is, like um, on the left side, that's um, alpha to the power minus 3 plus uh, beta to the power minus 3 plus gamma to the power minus 3 is equal to here I have minus 5 of the summation of these roots because of space I'll write it in this form uh, minus 3 of the summation of roots and then uh, adding the numbers minus 7 plus minus 7 plus minus 7 is minus 21 okay so um, that's minus 5 of sum of roots of the form alpha to the minus 2 is what we got on part B as 19. So we have 19 here and that's minus 3 of uh, sum of roots for the new equation. That's minus 5. So we have minus 5 here and that's minus 21. And if you do your calculation you get minus 95 plus 15 minus 21. And that's minus 101. And that's the answer right here to part C. And we have thus worked out the whole question.